So we now overview a few standard practices to address missing values in tabular data. So one of the approaches would be to remove rows or columns that have missing values. And using pandas uh, in Python, we may do so. We're using the method um, that's highlighted in yellow here on the screen, drop NA. So here we're assuming for what's summarized on the screen, we're assuming the data frame is called DF. Um, and there are other standard practices. But to we need to keep in mind that when we are using fewer observations, we may um, kind of pay the price for this based on um, raising other issues about underfeeding and overfeeding. Another standard practice would be to, instead of throwing out some um, rows and columns, those, those um, locations that have missing values, we may be able to instead of ignoring them, we may be able to substitute the blanks by using the, the standard practice called imputation. So imputing missing values means that you are substituting, replacing, filling in those blanks. But what do you put in there? So uh, a standard practice may be to remember, this, this is something where you are changing the original data and you like to well, you want to, this is a perturbation, so you want to do this perturbation with with uh, caution, with care. You don't want to add too much bias, okay? So one way of adding the least bias is by uh, imputing using averages, okay? So another standard practice could be to find the most common uh, value and this could be a numerical value this could be a categorical value if you will and the so-called mode would be one way of um, substituting those blanks filling in those blanks without altering the existing structure or order in the data one may also choose to, instead of having a missing value, instead of having a blank, to actually have a note or a tag, something we may refer as a placeholder that identifies that that location has um, something that is neither categorical or value, that something is missing. That's what you see here illustrated at the very bottom of the right side. And perhaps a uh, more informed option or practice is to actually apply some of these predictive modeling tools to substitute um, these missing values with predictions, right? So here, for numerical values, standard techniques that date way back before the machine learning revolution things like interpolation or extrapolation, things of techniques of those sort um, of, of methods um, would be this, this kind of advanced imputation uh, instead of um, simply using averages or mode values, one may predict the missing values and then use those predictions to fill in the blanks. And just as an illustration, there is um, a tool called DataWig, um, which uses neural networks to make predictions and therefore impute these um, spaces where there are missing values in tabular data. So the module, the Python module sklearn, has a built-in function called Simple Imputer, which may perform most of the methods we summarized in the previous slide um, and you you may um, you may use methods uh, called fit and transform together with the simple imputer to perform 
um, such tasks of filling in blanks. So in summary, Simple Imputer has uh, what's illustrated here on the screen are some of the input arguments. So we may use Simple Imputer for either data for um, statistical variables that are considered quantitative or for data that corresponds to statistical categorical variables. Um, you can see that for numerical data, mean and median are reasonable, reasonable um, values of statistics to use to fill in blanks. The, f the most frequent one, the so-called mode, is something that's applicable for uh, both numerical or categorical data. And uh, we may also use, we may also choose to um, replace with uh, specific um, placeholders.